Let's stay with KCAC we resonance matters for a bit and cross over to Marian Nyambura who's joining us live from Nakuru. Marian, good morning. It's good to see you. How have the schools performed in Nakuru this time? Well, Trevor, the situation is that uh, we are here to get the full details as to how uh, the region as well as uh, Nakuru County in general uh, performed uh, during this year's uh, KCSE exam. Over 1,996,000, sorry, uh, sat this year's uh, KCSE exam in the Rift Valley region, uh, over 2,000 uh, examination centers. Compared to last year, 173,063 students sat uh, the KCSE exam uh, in 2,643 six, uh, 2, centers. Now, basically, we are here at uh, the St. Mary uh, Veronica, St. Mary. Maria Veronica uh, Secondary School here in uh, Nakuru Town East, whereby uh, this is among the schools that have performed well. Uh, it's the first time actually uh, the students are tempted to sit, uh, start the KCSC exam and they've gotten, uh, they scored two A's, two A minus, sorry, uh, 40 out of the 77 who start this year's exam. Uh, 40 of them scored uh, C plus and above. So I'm going to speak to uh, the principal of the school who will shed more light about uh, the situation here. Maybe you could uh, start off with your name and tell us uh, how was the performance this year. 40 of them uh, got C plus and above. Maybe how is the situation for you so far? Are you celebrating any celebratory mood? Yes, we are really celebrating. My names are Grace Minor, Principal St. Maria Veronica. And uh, I'm very excited about uh, this day because... Uh, we started this school in 2016. We have had our first lot seat, the KCSE, and they have done wonderfully. These children, what makes us very proud is that uh, these girls came from a very poor background. We started with 60 of them. All of them have been able to complete the course, and the 60 of them are among those that will attend or uh, will go to the university. Actually, the 60 of them that we started off with have uh, attained C minors and above. These are children who have come from uh, parents who are unable. They have, uh, they, they, many of them uh, do odd jobs. Some of them are changa uh, sellers, brewers and sellers. Uh, you know, parents, students who do not have a future. Uh, courtesy to our CDF uh, through the patronage of our MP, uh, David Gekaria, they were able to sponsor those students from uh, the, providing them with the uniform, with school fees, up to the time they have finished. And uh, we are proud because these girls have, uh, have made it and we have been able to change lives because these would have otherwise been girls who have been, who have been lost in the, in the estates. They have come from the same urban areas where there's a lot of changa brewing, there's a lot of, uh, you know, joining the drugs and the other, these groups, the, the, the you know, the, 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 like the groups like the, what, what is it called? Maybe if you could uh, tell us about uh, the two uh, uh, girls who sat uh, the exam and got uh, A minus. What I what are their names? Uh, what possibly what did they score in their KCP exam? Uh, we saw uh, George Magoha state uh, how uh, uh, candidates have improved uh, from the KCP to now the KCSE. Maybe what was what were they like? Uh, maybe if you could tell us as we wait for them to get here. Yes, uh, our first girl who was index one is Al Alvina Waidera, who had uh, three thirty three in uh, KCP. And uh, she has managed as a name minus. Mm -hmm. Through a lot of hard work, we started with a lot of challenges. We did not have, uh, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. we started with a lot of challenges. But she has been, and coming from a very challenged background, mm -hmm. this is a girl who lives in Flamingo, mm -hmm. where there's a, uh, the Changa dance are uh, there. She has lived among those people and she has been able to make it. Mm -hmm. So we are very proud. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second one is uh, uh, Esther Sarange. A girl also coming from a very challenged home whereby she's been brought up by the grandparents mm -hmm. and the grandparents sometimes are not able even to, even, even to raise even the little money even to give her fear to come to school. But she's, she has been able to make it through the many challenges. She has attained her A-. So we, we, are, we are glad and we are happy that uh, they have been able to, to attain that. Mm -hmm.
It is a story of hope, yes, uh, yes, for the many students and Kenyans who are watching in general. Maybe if you could tell us uh, these two uh, uh, girls, Esther as well as uh, the, the one, who, Alvina, Alvina. Yes. Uh, maybe you could tell us uh, who are they like, uh, uh, what is their character in school, in studies generally? These are two very hardworking girls, very hardworking. Alvina would not, uh, would not uh, she did not even take 10 minutes to take her meals. Mm -hmm. She was always on the run. Actually, these, what they have attained is out of hard work. The same to Sarange, very hardworking, very disciplined girls. And I believe that is why they have been able to perform. Our school, we are proud that most of our girls are very disciplined. Uh, we have not had any dropouts for the four years, so we are happy and we are saying that our girls are very disciplined and that is where we have been able to attain that, those results. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, Trevor, there you have it. Uh, that is the principal just telling us more about uh, the situation here. Uh, this is the first time uh, that the St. Maria Veronica uh, Secondary School has, uh, uh, the students here have sat uh, the KCSE exam. Uh, remember, as I mentioned earlier, over 196,000 uh, students sat uh, the KCSE exam in the region. We spoke to uh, the Regional uh, Commissioner of Education uh, who mentioned, uh, George uh, Ololtua, sorry, who mentioned to us uh, that they are yet to get the full details as to uh, how generally the region performed, but they've seen some sort of improvement in all the counties in the Rift Valley region. So basically it's a story that we're going to keep an eye on. I remember Kabraka High School was also among the schools that were mentioned uh, getting over, uh, the stu 30 students are getting A's uh, in the KCSE exam, the 2019 KCSE exam. We also saw one of the students uh, uh, from a uh, uh, secondary school in El Bagon Molo, uh, Nakuru, who by the name Samson uh, Mushai, who got, uh, who uh, scored 277 marks in the KCPE exam, but was able to manage uh, to get uh, an A minus in this year's KCSE exam. So it's just basically a story of hope, uh, resilience, even for those uh, individuals who are actually watching from home. And generally, it's a story that we are going to keep an eye on and give our viewers real time updates and details as to what happens and how generally Nakuru County and the Rift Valley region performed in this year's exam. Back to you, Trevor.